Well, um, so I'm working on a panel. On like the like when you when I talk, I do these books. I do a lot of drawing. You know, I like draw a panel. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm working on now. So um, here we have. Um, so I'm. I, this is the actual setup for uh, you know, one of the pages. So I have a page here that's going into the book Omar, and here you can see the uh, divided into two two panel pieces, uh, which is explaining uh, uh, the two creatures. And then I have these pens here, which are good pens. They sell these at the dollar store, and boy, are they great. This one and this man, you get you could get uh, you know one you get two for a buck, and they they're really good. They last for a long time. Very dark ink. I think they're predominantly sharpie endowed. So they may be a uh, subdivision of Sharpie. Uh, why do I have these things like the the wrap and the um, why do I have rubber band on my pens? I have it on on there so that you can tell which pen I'm using. Which, you know which one is already dried out and which one is juicy. You know, in other words, which one is dried out and which is juicy. I'm talking about pens. I'm not. I'm not talking about girlfriends or anything. So all right, so we go now. Um, so I got uh, I got this uh, the crow the crowfish here, which is kind of what they call a crowfish. It's got these tendrils that come down, and those tendrils catch little birds and what have you. They're they're predators. And in the background, I have the ruins of Chicago, because in the book Omhart, the city of Chicago, at least the downtown area, is accidentally transported 155 million years in the future, where everything around it is uh, there's no more humans and um, no more cities. It's all just like this gigantic. Uh, jungle and biofauna where these creatures that are actually intelligent sentient creatures live and they ha they are forced to deal with creatures and their societies and their cultures so here in the, the uh, it's a city in the jungle so we got city in the jungle there and then we got um, we got the ghetto here so I, I got this kind of weird uh, perceptive drawing here kind of weird speaking of weird uh, have you ever you know when you're with a girl for a long time uh, do you ever try weird stuff with you? Like, do you ever try to try to hump you, like from behind, like not actual hump, but more like a like a dry hump? You know, they just you know try to try to get you from behind there, man. You know what I mean? I think they want to see how that feels. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I'm not talking about going through it. I'm just talking about their damn curiosity, man. Anyway, uh, what the hell am I talking about that for? Oh, women. In the, okay, so I got some women in the book that are they're not dry humping men or anything. But there are heroines within the book that deal with these creatures. Um, so uh, you know, here I have a uh, like a crushed car, and it, you know the idea is if you ever seen the uh, the video game The Last of Us or the movie I Am Legend, and you have a an overgrown city that's left to ruin, that's what the background is like, you know. And then you have the the, the creatures, which uh, I have each one have a, have a strange culture, and they're quite frightening and uh, horrific creatures. Here I have this street wide long gigantic amphibian making its way through the ghetto here in this panel and I will actually put the put the so you, you can see I don't detail it all in pencil first I do the detail with ink you know I do kind of a fast sketch and then and then come in and so and then it makes a page you know the whole thing would be a page for the book as you can see here and that would be uh, really cool so that's how uh, the paneling and art looks for the type of books that I do buddy for the type of books I do.